put a surface down on a on whatever whatever you're working on. It can be pretty much anything. Uh, this is illustration board. Some students have used uh, masonite or what they call MDF core. That is very it's very cheap. Get it cut to your side to your own size. Now see you can get. Uh, illustration board in various thicknesses so if you can see that this is kind of warping a little bit it's a lot cheaper but that's the downside so you can still uh, uh, tape it down but this is just uh, it's gesso and oops that's great so I'll use white so the, and this is putting it on straight and this can be brushed on with any kind of a board you're a typical brush. This is straight white paint. And no, this is gesso. Oh, gesso. And this is what they put on uh, canvas, so that you're not painting on threads. And oh, I okay. particularly like this surface here of a mild texture. It's just, it creates a kind of slightly sandpapery, mm -hmm. and it's just great to draw on. And it's super for airbrush also. So what I'm doing is I'm moving it around. Obviously, I'm moving back and forth to get it even. It's a little speck on your roller. Thank you. And you can obviously do several coats of this if you'd like. Now, what I find particular with this is if I put it on too thick, then I can have like ridges and bumps. However, even if I do put it on too thick, if I just continue to let it roll, problem there, then as it dries, it will smooth out better. So the advantage of this is myriad and legion. If you're working on paper, just straight on paper, it's a problem in that this, it sinks into the paper, the paint will, and this just provides a sealer for whatever you're working on and a unified, uh, a unified surface. But if you need to change something and you make a mistake, Great. Put gesso in your airbrush, spray over the part that you've made a mistake, and you've got a perfectly new surface again. Well, anyway, this is just a golden surface to, uh, surface to work on. I get these at Home Depot. So, and this is, uh, you can get these in smaller or larger amounts. So, anyway, how to coat your surface. And I've known guys that rather than, uh, Rather than having something expensive made for a larger, yes, that's it. He literally got a door. He went to a Home Depot and bought a door. And then he put this on it. It was perfectly framed, perfectly solid. <laughs> and this was like for a major movie campaign. <laughs> so you, you can work on just about anything. All right. Thank you.